In this morning's Health Watch, ask it early, which means your health questions, everything from job stress to sore feet. Those Medi poor dogs. Yes, indeed. Medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here to answer your questions. Jen, good morning. Good you made morning, it, by you guys. The way. Made it despite the traffic. Two hour commute. Mm. How about that? Um, first question comes from Cindy. Let's take a listen. And what is the best way to soothe sore feet? Oh, everyone can relate to that, right? Yeah. So let's do foot pain by the numbers. One out of six Americans has foot pain at some point in their lives. 90% of women are wearing shoes that are too small. Not me, because I've embraced the fact that I have very, very big feet. My feet are bigger than yours. Okay. <laughs> and I get the right size. <laughs> and get this, you guys, for every mile we walk, we actually exert 60 tons of force and pressure on our feet. So wow. it's no wonder mm. that once in a while people can have foot pain. And we all know how that can literally shoot right up your body, figuratively, literally, or emotionally, and affect yeah, exactly affect worst. your whole mood. So the key, like with any physical ailment, is you want to find out what's causing it. Is it a problem with the plantar fascia, fascia, which is the surface of the foot, you know, that you're standing on? Is it a problem with your Achilles tendon? Is it just as simple as getting shoes that actually fit, which mm -hmm. is why women should try on shoes at the end of the day when their feet are a little more swollen? But the key is figuring out what's causing the problem and then dealing with it, whether it's ice, rest anti-inflammatory medication or just staying off your feet a little bit a little foot massage you really want to address the problem because chances are it will get worse if you don't address it All every husband should up. provide foot massages right it really I should mean, that's just a Jeff Glor Prince among men yeah. sort of a deal mm -hmm. Nicole husband Glor of the year is, Nicole Glor is a lucky lady <laughs> that's right uh, up next this question comes just from Facebook from our viewer Peggy who writes in my teeth are going really bad I'm curious if this will lead to other health issues. How much of an indicator are your teeth? We actually say this is a window into your general health status. So this is not just about cavities. This is really about your oral health and well-being and obviously closely linked to periodontal disease, which many doctors and dentists believe is the number one most common inflammatory condition facing Americans. Most of us don't even know we have it. So you really do want to pay attention to your oral health. There are a couple of things that bear repeating because they're so easy but so important. Number one, you do want to brush your teeth twice a day, which is really key. You want Minimum. to floss yep. daily. Okay, the dentists say only floss the teeth you want to keep, and that's because it's very, very important. And you want to replace your toothbrush about every three to four months. When those bristles start to get frayed, that toothbrush is not doing its job. And interestingly, limit snacks, because your, your mouth actually produces less saliva during snacks than during regular meals, and saliva is important to flush away all those bacteria and food particles. <laughs> Finally and quickly, very good question for Friday as we head into the weekend. Let's take a listen. What are some good tips on how to de-stress while still at work? So mind-body connection, very important. It's something that's affecting your mind or your mood definitely can have consequences on your, on your physical health. So if possible, when you're at work, take a break, even if it's one to five minutes, deep breathing, step outside, turn away from your desk or your computer, of course, with your boss's approval. Do a little <laughs> bit of exercise, even if it means taking a one-minute walk around the block, that can really help. And lastly, ask for support, whether it's a coworker or a support system that you have at your job, don't don't neglect your physical and emotional stress. Great advice as always, Jen. Thanks. And enjoy the weekend. Yes, very important. You too.